Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to make the um, uh, the slideshow type of movie using After Effects. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first we need to have one Photoshop document with multiple layers. Uh, so what I have here is uh, I created one PSD document with uh, eight layers. So let me show you from the very bottom. Okay, so first bottom layer, I have the Polaroid kind of frame things. Uh, I chose this and I did some kind of Photoshop retouches uh, to present kind of old film looking. First layer with yeah, some quote. Second layer, sick adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive. Okay. So I created this one document and saved as one PSD document. Okay. So now I'm back to, I'm, I'm opening After Effects. Uh, let me create a new composition. Uh, this time I'm going to use 1280 by 720 um, because of that will be um, the, the quicker to render on this tutorial. And I'm not gonna change anything. It's just the duration uh, I set to a 28, uh, no, 24 frames because there are eight different images. And then I think maybe three seconds per image might be long enough to read. So um, three seconds times the um, eight images, so I'm um, 24 seconds, that's what I have. Background color doesn't matter. Say okay. Okay. Now go to file, import the file I have just created, which is this PSD file with all eight layers and the quote. Import as composition, retain layer sizes. And open, check editable layer styles and okay. So in this folder, we have everything. Okay. So I'm going to select all images and drag it to the timeline. Okay. And I need to change some orders. So I'm from the top. So I'm sick. Adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive yeah so that's all I did let me set all of them again let me uh, zoom out a little bit and then hold down the option and shift I'm gonna make it smaller so it fits my screen okay so let me double check sick adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive okay so once you have something like this they all your layers in the uh, correct orders select all layers and then turn 3d layer option so now all these images are placed in 3D space. So you can see that X, Y, Z axis, three axis. Okay, now we're going to create a new camera layer on top of everything. 
So uh, just to hold down the uh, the control key and click somewhere in your the layers the, this timeline and new choose the camera. Uh, yep, just get the 50 millimeters. Everything looks fine. Say OK. And then create another new layer on top. This time the null layer. And then this null layer will be uh, parent with the um, your camera layer. So drag it to that. Okay. Now from here we're going to change some settings. Um, go to the view menu from one view, change it to two views horizontal, just like this. It's too small. Okay. So now, as you can see, uh, what happened is um, this is the front view, and this is a kind of a top view, and then this triangle and this point indicates uh, where I'm viewing these images. So that means this is the this point is my point of view, and this is the distance from my viewpoint to the images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, um, the location, the position of each image. I'm going to spread out kind of uh, from the, my very close view uh, to a very far from my point of view. So uh, let me select my first image, which is this. I'm not going to change it from my second one. Let me move my mouse cursor over here so you can see that y axis axis and z so once you see this is z axis keep pressing your mouse button and drag it so meaning i'm pushing away from my point of view so it's gonna uh, kind of getting farther from my point of view and x axis let me move it to the side y-axis you can move up or down maybe x maybe even more okay my third image I will keep repeating this Okay, so as you can see that, let me go back to a one view. So all images are kind of spread out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, on my camera uh, layer, drop down menu, and open the camera options. I'm going to turn on depth of field to on, and I'm going to change my aperture value from this default to um, let me have it maybe about 300 pixels now can you see that once you set the aperture value the image is behind meaning far from my point of view kind of blurry because they are out of focus if I increase this number it's gonna be more blurry like that I'm gonna set to 500 pixels Okay, so I can focus on the um, featured image more, the better. Okay, now next thing is, uh, I'm going to uh, make another uh, null layer. This time, let me change the name of this. Let me hit the return so I can change the name. Wiggle. Okay, and then let me hit the P key so I can change the position and then hold down the option key, click on P, 
position so it will open your express layer uh, we're going to shake it as you, as you saw it on my preview uh, the each image will be kind of a shaking or wiggling a little bit so um, uh, the express is going to be wiggle uh, parenthesis uh, maybe I, I don't want to wiggle maybe too much so on two point let's say um, 30 okay and then select all images only from your layers and then parent to your wiggles layer See? It's kind of a shaking. I don't know, maybe on 2 by 30 might be too much. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay. And then, next thing is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit my timeline. I'm going to move my um, time indicator up to one second mark and on my wiggle slate I mean the no layer this one first uh, let me turn on this again 3d layer option of this no layer okay and then hit the P key to change the position of this insert a keyframe and let me go back to the beginning insert another keyframe and then there's an axis for this null no layer x y and z let me just increase in my x and the z layer meaning we're changing the depth just keep increasing until everything's gone from my stage so it's all gone okay so let's take a look what happens hit the space bar so this will happen like this okay let me rewind again it is kind of a shaking wiggling okay uh, I think um, I'm gonna make some changes I want to make it kind of a zooming in even faster so let me move my second keyframe to like 15 frame second mark here okay let me render again. Okay. Looks better. And I'm going to make it stay up to um, uh, three second mark. Okay. And hit another keyframe. So once it comes in, zoom in like this, it will stay up to three seconds and it will be moving to the next image so my next image is uh, that is that thing sick adventures this thing so on another 15 sec frame second mark see that here let me insert a keyframe and then uh, in your studio your no layer is selected I'm gonna move it to place my second image in the center like that so it is centered but it is out of focus because of the depth so on Z axis let me pull so I can have a sharp enough image move it up a little bit okay 
and I'm going to make it stay up to six seconds. Another keyframe. So let's take a look up to this point. Three second mark, it moves to the next image, wiggling. Okay, it is rendered, so let me rewind the replay. Three second mark moves to the second image, six seconds, and next images. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same step until I finish my um, the eighth images. So uh, I will move my time indicator up to 6.15 frame seconds here. See that? 6.15. Insert a keyframe. I need to find my third image, which is, I can't see it for now, so let me zoom out. My third image is, um, not you, this one. It's on the top left corner. Okay, so. X. Let me move it. And Y axis. And change the Z axis, the depth. Like this. And then I want to make this stay up to nine seconds. So I'm basically I'm assigning a three second per image. So the keyframe. Okay, so I will keep doing this. Okay, so it is all rendered. I think it is done. So let's take a look uh, from the very beginning. Let me hit the space bar so we can preview it. Okay, so uh, I think it, it is, it is, looks cool. Um, so uh, I think it, this could be it, but uh, I just want to have a different background rather than having just this light gray background color. So uh, let me import uh, the image. Yeah, I imported the uh, one map image um uh, yep and i just yeah, apply some blur the gaussian blur from photoshop and then let me create a new composition same size uh, i will name it as a bg background okay and uh, let me have uh, that image here yeah this is kind of a the the, uh, the the random randomly picked uh, map image uh, I found online okay and back to the main composition and let me have my um, BG composition to the bottom very bottom so I can have my image so let me render it I hit the space bar so it is all rendered so let's take a look from the very beginning sick adventures that open your mind go where you feel most alive isn't it cool Okay, that's it. So thanks for watching.